Hey guys, what's up? Long time no see, or maybe you've never seen me before, but today I'm gonna be making pumpkin soup and having some drinks, and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. I just wanna do a quick thank you to anyone who's contacted me, asking me when I'm filming on YouTube or if I'm gonna be posting again or whatnot. I've meant to post again before this, but I haven't got the chance, but thank you guys so much for your appreciation. And I'm hoping to post a lot more in the future. I always say that, but I'm really hoping to this time. I'm late to doing a house tour and I'm not gonna be doing that today, but I'm gonna take you guys up front and show you guys my eight giant pumpkins and the one tiny one. So I have this cute little danger sign and then here are all the pumpkins. Have uh, seven like really big pumpkins and then the tiny one. And then this one's my favorite. It's like really warty and the top is covered in thorns and like the little twisty thingy. Oh, I also have cute little stickers on the window. Okay, so I already washed these pumpkins so they're clean and now I'm gonna cut them in half and I'm gonna lay the pumpkins on the side with some oil and I'm gonna put all the seeds here and I'm gonna roast all the seeds. I've actually never made pumpkin soup and I've never cut up a little pie pumpkin and I'm really not sure where to start. Bear with me. I'm just rinsing out the seeds and I have all the pumpkins all cut up there and scooped out. I have the seeds all cleaned and I'm just gonna pour them on here and dry them. This is my first time ever cooking pumpkin seeds, but since I have eight freaking pumpkins outside, I'm gonna have a lot more than this after Halloween. I'm gonna do dill pickle seasoning this time, but in the future I wanna do like white cheddar and then I wanna do like a sweet one, like a cinnamon one. I got all the stuff to season the seeds. I got pepper, dill pickle kernel seasoning, salt, and olive oil. I'm gonna grab a glove just so the seasoning doesn't get all underneath my fingernails, like the pumpkin cuts did. The dill pickle seasoning is pretty salty, so I'm gonna do a little bit of this. I like lots of pickle powder, I'm gonna keep it. movie theater smell like when you get your popcorn and you pour that dill pickle like powder into it and it comes up and like bombs your face it smells good now that those are all spread out i'm just gonna add more dill pickle that's definitely enough next i'm about to spray the pumpkins down with some oil and then season them I'm just doing salt and pepper and I'm gonna add a little bit of Old Bay seasoning because I add a little bit of Old Bay seasoning to everything. This is the secret spice of all time. It's for chicken and seafood, but I put it on everything. I'm just gonna pop these in the oven with the seeds. Ugh. 
the seeds have been in there for like five seconds. When I open up the oven, the dill pickle smell almost actually took me out. It's time for my favorite part of cooking videos, drinking. So let's get to it. And it, it wouldn't be drinking right now in fall without these cute cups. Look how cute they are. I got these from Spirit Halloween last year. And normally everything is Spirit Halloween is a million dollars. These were actually like a dollar each. So that's a steal. And we're going to be trying this banana caramel vodka. I think it's, oh, it is vodka. Pause while I get assistance. I feel like Sabrina Carpenter, when she's doing the bit with her mic. There we go. Let's give it a little sniff. Okay, it doesn't really have much of a smell. And normally vodka, you always smell it. I'm just doing a little shot, because I don't know what this is going to be like. I'm gonna use this as Chase. I feel like it matches the theme with the caramel banana vodka. Cheers. It's pretty good. I never just like, I always had to like, I had to take the chaser away because I didn't want to let it sit in too good in case it was super strong. But with this, as Chase, it was really good. They look pretty toasty and good now, but they just started like popping like popcorn in the oven. Loki scared me. Here's a taste test. I don't know if the gel pickle like baked off and that's what all the smell was, but it needs more of the pickle. I like lots of pickle. I'm just going to add more dill pickle. I have all the pumpkin. I just took it out of the oven. I'm going to scoop it out with the big spoon that's on there. And I'm going to scoop it into this big soup pot. And I'm going to add cream, milk, cream cheese, seasoning, all the good stuff. So I actually changed my mind. I'm not going to make biscuits because I have this really good bread from the grocery store bakery. But I'm just going to toast some of this to have with the soup when it's almost done. I just peeled and scooped all of that out, and it's in this pot, and it's time to get started. Peep the Halloween nails. So I just mashed all this up with a potato masher, but I'm going to go through and further blend it with my immersion blender. So even though I've lived here for a good while now, I don't really want to admit how long, uh, I still don't have a milk thingy to put my milk in. But I'm going to add some milk to the soup before it heats up, so it all heats up together slowly. Okay, get the fuck out of my face. Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> While that's heating up, I want to show you guys a project I've been working on. This is actually another project I was working on, but this isn't the one I was planning on showing you. But this is a Coraline doll of myself that I've been working on. But this is a project I want to show you guys. These are my little knit rats. <laughs> they don't have names yet, so if you guys have good name suggestions, let me know. But this one has slippers. But they're going to do little stop motion films. Um, and when I have time to film it, I'm super excited to see how it goes. So now that it's heated up a little bit, I'm starting to take the immersion blender through it. And it didn't, it didn't turn out to be as much soup as I was calling for, but it's quality over quantity, right? None of the recipes call for cheese, but when I said in cheese to anything, especially a soup, made it worse. So. Okay, so the soup is all done. I'm going to do a final taste test. It's super, super good. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Subscribe and like for more content and I'll definitely be posting again in the near future.